welcome hello youtubers so today i would be demonstrating you the xml tutorial probably we would be looking into the access lt feature so it is a feature where it is used to convert xml documents into an html file so if you have the data in the XML format then you can transform the XML document into the HTML document by using the XSL style sheet not only you can convert it into the HTML document you can convert it also in PDF format as well as taking the original XML document and converting into some another XML document so in this tutorial we would be walking you through about how to convert an XML document into HTML document so let's get started so let me I have created one folder with the name XML tutorials so let me open this folder in my sublime text you can see that in my XML tutorials folder there is one file with the name students.xml and this is one file with the name students.xsl so once I open the XML file you can see that we have the nodes for the XML tag so to define the XML file you need to include the top line code so XML version 1.0 I will talk about this later but if you remove this and now this is your complete XML document so every XML document should have the root node so my root node is class and inside the root node we have student each student right and in an XML document whenever you are opening the tag of student it needs to be closed also it's compulsory opening and close tag should be there otherwise the XML document would not be a valid document these are child nodes of student right because first name is a child node of student and the role number is the attribute of node student so it's an attribute these are the special terms given to an XML document so you can see that we have the root level node as class we inside the class we have student node and inside the student we have attribute as the role number and the student is having the property of first name last name nickname and marks right so now let's convert this XML document into an HTML document so before going that let me open this XML document in an Safari let's wait okay uh, this is because I have not saved my file because I have not uh, saved my file as you remember that previously I was having this style sheet node right so that is why it was converting the XML document into the HTML document so if I remove this and save this file and now run it in Safari you will see that this data is coming up right so actually it's an XML document okay so there is no transformation of this XML document now in the same directory I created with the name students.xsl file uh, the name is not necessary that whatever the name you are having in XML should be same it could be different also so if I open this xsl file this is pretty much the template of it so up till 
this is a constant template you need to copy this template exactly how it is like this this is the fixed format you cannot change anything in this particular node so this is compulsory so if you mismatch anything like xsl template and you name it as templates it will not work so this needs to be exactly match as you are seeing in the screen now comes the html part where we are going to transform it so in a web document you have html tag you have body tag even you can include the head tag but for this case i didn't require so i am just removing it so right so this is just like the html web document so inside this body tag where we define all our html markups so i have defined h2 as students and now what i will do i will iterate over each student and i will extract the value inside the first name last name nickname marks and roll number so for this i have defined one table and inside this there is a header row with the name roll number first name last name nickname and marks as you can see that for each student we have roll number first name last name nickname and marks now this xsl for each is a predefined xsl tag which is used to iterate over the xml node so you can see that i am using xsl for each and i am selecting the root level node and then the child node right so my root level node is class and the student is a child of class right student is a child of class so first you have to access the top node and then you can come into the child nodes you cannot directly access the first name you need to follow certain pattern which which should be top node then the child node and then the sub child node so it should be from top to bottom not from you are directly accessing from the bottom something like first name so it will not return it so first top then the uh, child and then if they have the uh, sub child then access the sub child so i am selecting the class which is my top node and then the student right and this is my student node because each student is having a specific student node so that is why there are three entries and three entries it will iterate over it then for each entry i am creating one row in the table and this xsl value of is selecting the value for the node so if you see that for attribute we are selecting at the rate sign so if you want to get the value of an attribute you need to have at the rate and the attribute name similarly this one first name should be exactly similar like this first name so it should match so this always return only one value this does not return multiple values so you need to give in the select tag what value you want to retrieve i hope this has become cleared and as i told that in xml template match is equal to root node so that is why you are starting with the class and then the student but so let me just save this file at the moment and in the student.xml file what you have to do you have to include the style sheet so this is just like the style sheet so you need a reference in the xml file you cannot open xml xsl file in the browser so in the xml file it this file has to be linked that is why it is uh, it should be in specific format that is type of xsl and the file name so if i save this file and if i run this in the browser
now you can see that that same xml file where it was coming in one line now it has the html tags because h2 uh, is having a heading of students and then uh, we are having the data dynamically right so and now the best part is that if the xml structure if you are adding more students it will dynamically change so if I save this file again if I run this file you will see that two or three two more entries have been added right okay so this was it that you are able to transform the XML document into the HTML document so I hope that this tutorial would be clear if it is not clear then uh, I will make some separate tutorials uh, that you should be able to create these kind of a feature because it's very useful I found this very useful because some of the data in the internet are still in the XML format and uh, for hard coding stuff the HTML document you can use this XSLT feature so that whenever the data is dynamic to the XML document automatically the data would be added to your XML document so I hope this tutorial makes sense Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye.